Tell me when you're ready, Chivo. Ready. Rotate into dialogue. Chivo Emmanuel Lubeski, the cinematographer, was my first privilege to ever get to work with him. And he's a great filmmaker and artist, and extremely specific about how the walls should almost always be darker than the faces of the actors, and how the camera moves, and what it looks like. And it will enchant you and envelop you. He's such a part of the whole filmmaking process. It's so just gleeful when it goes well, and like, our visions have been popping up from behind the camera. And she's going, Cabron, you know, ah, oh my God, you know, and he's almost crying with joy over great shots. You know, he's a real artist. And this is Chivo, and no one has done this as Chivo has. So it makes you want to try harder. It makes you want to make something more beautiful. And but he's also fun to collaborate with. It's really, really good. Oh, like okay, a Okay. I always thought this world was beautiful. The world is luscious and precise. It takes specific people to create a living world. I just felt like I was totally transported into a time. That's when you live, oh, that, that's when you live the most, okay. because you're truly living for the day. It felt bloody easy on this, because Judy Becker, who's David's regular set designer, made beautiful sets. She is an artist in her own right. Judy creates beautiful worlds. You want to go inside the world and you want to learn about it. She does it Judy's way, and it's her signature, the way she makes something beautiful. We do that one of... Um... Yeah, we do a familiar one. I would do the green, no? Green's the one. All right. The wardrobe is the person, and you always have to have a love affair with the wardrobe. Jared Hawbaker creates an incredible look that when people see the movie, they say to me, I want Margot's clothes, I want her accessories, and J.R. Hawbaker created those clothes. She made everything beautiful. Every character had their own look. Putting on that coat and some of the uniforms felt very empowering. My character's very dramatic and very artistic and very dark. I loved getting to explore that kind of strong look. Trousers and capes and top hats, things like that. It looks spectacular and JR, she's such a rock star. She's so good. The satisfaction of seeing something from the absolute birth of sitting with David and with him going, I've got an idea, and seeing him gradually building that story, ah, it's wonderfully satisfying. It's beautiful and it's specific, and it's so luscious and immediate that you're completely in, and it enchants you. All right, that's a cut on that. 